right, this assignment is from the week 14 folder. It's called Equations Simplify First. And what you have to do is exactly that. You have to simplify before you solve the equations. So you just spent in week 13 doing a couple assignments where you would have a problem just like this. In fact, I even took some of these from the same um, assignments as you did in week 13. So we're, you can see that on the left side we just have 28. You don't have to simplify that but we do have to simplify on the right. So we just look for like terms. So we have 8x and minus 7x. Remember the minus has to come with the term. So 8x minus 7x equals 1x. And you can just write that as x if you want. So now we just rewrite the 28 equals, just drops down. Over here now we have 1x, I'm just going to write that as x, plus 12. Don't forget the plus 12. Well, now we just have a little baby equation to do, a little one-step equation. Um, we can see that we want to solve for x. Remember, you've got to see where your variable is. It's right there. And what's happening to our variable is that we have 12 added to it. I want to undo that, so I'm going to subtract 12 from both sides. 28 minus 12 is 16. Yeah, 16 equals x. And you're done. So you have simplified that equation. Well, you've solved the equation. First you simplified, and then you solved it. So let's look at um, number, number three. You do not have to simplify first. It's already been simplified. Same with number four. So those are two-step equations, but I'll do a little bit more complicated one here. Let's look at number five. 4t plus 7 minus t equals 19. Well, equals 19, that's already simplified. We don't have to look at that side. But what we do have to simplify is we have to look for like terms on the left. So we have 4t minus t. But I like to put a 1 in front of my variables that don't have a number. So I really have 4t minus 1t. Remember, the sign has to go with it. So that's 3t. So I have 3t plus 7 equals 19. Okay, well now we're ready to solve. Now that we're done simplifying, we're going to solve. So our variable is t, and we have something multiplied to it and something added to it. So we have to undo the adding first, or sometimes it's subtracting. So we have to undo that part first. That's very important. So I'm going to undo plus 7 by subtracting 7 from both sides of the equal sign. That leaves me with 3t equals 19 minus 7 is 12. So now I have 3 times t equals 12, and I have to undo that multiplication by dividing both sides by 3. Sorry, I'm kind of running out of room. So 3t divided by 3 just leaves me with t 12 divided by 3 is 4. And then I have simplified and then solved the equation and got my answer of t equals 4. I think I have time to do one more problem. Number 7 and 8, again, don't need to be simplified. They already are as simple as they can get. But number 9 looks like we might have to simplify both sides. So let's simplify first on the left. We have minus 3x minus 8 plus 4x. So I underline my like terms because they both have an x. That's negative 3x and plus 4x. So negative 3 plus 4 is 1. So I'm going to rewrite this as 1x minus 8. Got to keep that minus with the 8. Equals, now let's simplify this side. It's just 14 plus 3. So that's 17. So I've got 1x minus 8 equals 17. Well, I don't want that minus 8 there, so the opposite, to undo that, I'm going to add 8 to both sides. So then that leaves me with 1x, which is the same as x, equals 17 plus 8, which is 25. And I have solved that, I've simplified, and then I solved it, and I got my answer. So that's how you do some of the problems on this lesson. I hope that helps, and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.